Born to Ride is sponsored in part by Rubenstein Law, 1-800-FL-LEGAL, representing riders since 1988. Offices throughout Florida, 1-800-FL-LEGAL. If Instagram is your thing, we're there. We're everywhere. Follow us at hashtag Born to Ride Motorcycle Media, your number one motorcycle resource. Thanks for tuning in to Born to Ride TV, the longest running biker TV show in the world. This week, from the cover of Born to Ride magazine, it comes alive with larger than life biker legend from the great state of Texas, Mr. Rick Fairless. Live on Boss Hog Radio, plus a tour of Strokers Dallas, and much more. You don't want to miss it all here on Born to Ride. This is Evil Knievel and the Evil Knievel Shock Absorbing Stunt Cycle. You can make him do wheelies, backstands, even mid-air somersaults. And for that big jump, here's Evil, up and over that four-foot ditch. Evil Knievel sold separately or with the Evil Knievel Stunt Cycle from Ideal. This is Evil Knievel, and you're watching Born to Ride. Hello, my name is Rick Fairless from Strokers Dallas, Strokers I South, Strokers Inc., RF Custom Parts, and Big State Fountain Grill over in Irving. Welcome to my empire known as Strokers Dallas, Strokers I South. We love you here with us. I created Strokers out of, I think, necessity. I mean, I worked for the Glidden Paint Company for 20 years, and, and I was happy doing that. But it was either open my own motorcycle shop and open my own barn grill and do something that made me happy, something that gave me a creative outlet, or cut my throat. And I decided to go ahead and go with the, the motorcycle beer joint option. You know, the whole Sensei deal started with a friend of mine by the name of Herschel Walker. They told me all about the Sensei deal. You got to check it out. You got to check it out. You got to check it out. When we finally got around to checking it out, it was like, oh my God, this thing is, is a big deal. You know, this is, this is some new technology. This is new stuff happening, and we wanted to be a part of it. But when I did the homework, I saw that we could take what we have here what we do every weekend and every day and put it in computers around the world. I mean, I think that's awesome. I mean, it's just the, the possibilities are, are endless and the chance of doing something that really hasn't been done before and being on the cutting edge of something, it's just, it's just uh, overwhelming to me and I'm, I'm proud to be part of the, the Sensei family. I may marry the Sensei family one at a time. I'm Fester Jenkins. Born to Ride is Boss Hog Radio, Thursday nights, 7 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Hey, it's Debbie with Born to Ride. Tune in every Thursday, 7 to 8 p.m. on the Boss Hog Radio, a fast hour of good talk, good biker talk, what you really want to hear. You're, you're just this colorful character, the tie-dye, man, the bikes. I mean, the, the creations you create, and it's, it's, it's like, I was told, you know, people say oh the, he's like a throwback from the 60s and 70s man that that whole concept of design tell tell us about the design of your concepts and and, and where do you get that inspiration from to create uh motorcycles like only you do about oh, i don't know 
15 or 20 years ago, a lady said, uh, I was working with a lady and she said, you're, you're a pretty good marketing person. And, and I consider myself a pretty good marketing person. And she said, the whole tie-dye and Chuck Taylors and the hippie thing, that's all good marketing. And I said, that ain't marketing. That's just who I am. <laughs> and, it, it's, and I think it goes back to, you know, when I was a kid and when I grew up in the 60s and the 70s. And I just, I've held on to it. And, uh, you know, it seems to work for me. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely, you got a niche. Um, how did how did your family say who are you inspired by how did your your parents inspire you or did you just run out and, and create your own blaze your own trail I mean someone had to give you some inspiration as a kid or when did you first pick up a wrench or when did you start riding or creating when I was about seven years old my great uncle had a, uh, a ranch in East Texas and he was my, my mom's favorite aunt and uncle, and, and uh, they had some dough, and they had a big ranch in East Texas, so my mom would go there a lot and drag us kids, and uh, uh, he had a couple of motorcycles on there, so that was the first time I got to ride one, and it just, like, hit me right in the teeth. I mean, once I rode, you know, it was a little mini bike, I just, I just loved it, and so from the time that uh, that I was seven, he gave me a, a mini bike that I could take back to, to Irving. And uh, since that time, I've never been without a, a motorcycle. And what about the ins inspiration from your parents? Uh, my dad had a BSA 650 when I was young. Ooh, and so he... did my dad. <laughs> <laughs> his was royal. Know, his still... was royal blue. <laughs> My dad's was, was black, was red and black. And uh, his best friend at the time had a Triumph 650, and he was on his way to our house from downtown Dallas, and he got killed on it. So uh -oh. his parents didn't want anything to do with it, so they gave it to my dad. And my dad, uh, he sold his BSA, and he kept the Triumph in the garage, but he, he wouldn't ride anymore, you know. But he never uh, discouraged my brother and I from riding. Uh -huh. So, so Rick, you're a, you're a motivator. You get uh, a lot of people working for you. And we're going to talk about your bar and the, the strokers, and you got a, a lot of stuff going on. But, you know, how do you motivate people in a success-driven world or a motivational type of world? Um, I would consider you an entrepreneur. You had an easy rider store that turned into strokers is that right but all along you've had to do deals and sell bikes and create and motivate and inspire people what what is if you could help out anybody out there what would be like i'd say a secret to success or at least to keep well, on keeping on it, it's easy and and one of the things i do that i enjoy doing is i am a motivational speaker so i've actually lectured for a bunch of different companies i've also lectured at uh Texas Christian University, TCU, three times. I've lectured at DePaul University twice, and I, I like talking to people that 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 listen, you know, and I've gone to trade schools and high schools, but the, the, the bottom line, you know, if you could put it all in a synopsis is you can be whatever you want to be. You can do whatever you want to do if you want it bad enough you know how bad do you want to lose weight how bad do you want to get a promotion how bad do you want to you know live in a nicer house and drive a nicer car and make more money you can get it you can there at the radio station and dave nichols can and i can we all can if we're willing to pay the price you know so if you're punching the clock and you're coming in at nine o'clock every day your hours nine to six with an hour for lunch coming at 8 30 come in at 8 30 don't punch in till 9 take that take you take your your lunch break and work through the lunch break you know stay later volunteer to do things you know and when you think i'm just working i'm working i'm doing all this and the boss doesn't notice he notices he notices mm -hmm. he notices when he comes <clears> in <throat> and, and 
and the lights on in your office or your cubicle or when he sees what you're doing. I mean, it's what do you, what do you want and how bad do you want? It? So you, you know, say so when when, uh, when I give the when I give my speech, you know, and I it, I tell them at the very end, and it's true. If a dumbass like me can be successful, anybody can. <laughs> How bad do you want? It? How bad do you so, want? It? So you don't like those guys that come in late and, and go home early. They got to come in early and stay late. That, that's my kind of guys too that have your back, you know. And but to motivate that is is uh, is is a is a constant everyday uh, adventure. Your slogan though, one of your guys told me you got a slogan, and I've heard it before: "Get to work." Get, you can't get work all day. Work. You can't work all day if you don't start in the morning. No, that's right. You know, and I mean, it's just, you, you know, you, you a new employee doesn't have to work there long before you figure out if they're going to make it or not. You know, and if it's just, if it's just somebody punching a time clock or as we call it, a warm body, if it's just a warm body, I don't want that guy. <laughs> I don't want that guy. I'll try to, I'll try to mentor that guy. And I'll try to get that guy, you know, to to, uh, to step it up. But most of the time, if they don't want it, you can't make them take it. Yep. You know, so. Well, and, and you know what else, Rick? Uh, all of us here are doing what we love, and that's a big part of it, too. You know, is, I know that's is. true for you, Rick. Mm-hmm. You, you're doing what you love. Yep, no, absolutely, and that's why in... You know, I try to hire people that are enthusiasts because the enthusiast doesn't mind working harder and he doesn't mind uh, being at work longer, you know, but if he is a motorcycle enthusiast, you know, so they seem to always work out better. And, you know, during COVID and everyone that had struggles with their businesses and everything, um, that brought a lot of cream to the top, too. There were some companies that had uh, people that just jumped ship, and then there were others that grabbed a bucket and helped bail the water. And that really separates, you know, a lot of people. And I think, uh, you know, as bad as the whole COVID pandemic uh, has been, it did show a lot of businesses who their loyal, you know, people are that stuck by them. So you're right about that. You know you're not the first, but do you really care? Crystal Harley-Davidson's got the quality pre-owned rides you want for a fraction of original MSRP. And if you have a trade, we'll pay more for it, even if you don't buy from us. Click crystalharley.com. What can $50 buy you? How about a new 2021 Crystal Harley-Davidson? Yes, right now at Crystal Harley. Reserve one of the first ever 2021 bikes before they even hit our store. Just $50 reserves your ride. Click crystalharley.com to start now. Hi, I'm attorney Robert Rubenstein, and this is Rubenstein's Rules for Personal Injury. Rule number one, get an attorney. When you or a loved one have been injured by another's negligence, an experienced attorney can make a huge difference. At Rubenstein Law, we will find all of the insurance, make sure your injuries are documented, and work to get you the best result. While each case is different, a well-known insurance company's own study showed people with a lawyer on average got more money. Call Rubenstein Law at 1-800-FL-LEGAL. Race fans, it's time! Florida's law firm, Rubenstein Law and Border Ride TV and Magazine, along with RPM Promotions, present Battle at the Beach Motorcycle and Quad Racing. It's coming to Pensacola Dirt Track Thursday, September 17th, open practice. And Friday, September 18th, racing action like never before. Quads and motorcycles with $5,000 on the line. And Saturday, it's Southern Raceway in Milton, Florida. Quads and motorcycles. Bring the family. Support racing. You can buy the whole seat, but you will only need the edge. Race fans, don't miss it. For more information, call RPM Promotions 260-450-2796. Race fans. Deep in the Virginia mountains, there's a legendary road. 32 miles long, 438 curves, rising 3,500 feet in the sky. The road awaits a one-of-a-kind motor enthusiast experience through the Appalachian Mountains in southwest Virginia, the back of the dragon.
So there you go, people. Your dream can come true, and it doesn't matter what you start out in life. It's what you want to do in life. And to have a dream, to have a goal is, is so important, isn't it, Rick, to be focused on, 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 on a dream? Yeah, no, absolutely. It, it goes back to how ba- what do you want and how bad do you want. You know, I wanted to be the number one sales guy. You know, I mean, I was like, I'm like the guy, the, the big guy at the buffet line. You know, I go <laughs> through the buffet line and I say it's pizza and I got, I got a big plate of pizza. And as I'm sitting there eating that pizza, I'm watching that line. I'm watching that line. And then I see, hey, they're bringing out some more pizza. Well, you still got some pizza on your plate. Yeah, I know, but this is the high I got to go get. <laughs> I'm that guy. I'm the guy that just You're that piles guy. stuff on my plate, and, and I, can't, I can't stop. I, oh, whatever I have, I want more. I want better. I want cooler. I want neater. You know, I'm that guy. Man, it's so, so inspiring speaking with you. The motorcycle creations that you create. Tell us about the one that's on the cover uh, of Born to Ride. Um, that bike is just the standout. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Tell us about that bike, Rick. Well, that bike is called Pam, and I call it Pam after Pam Anderson because it's really curvy. <laughs> <laughs> Pam's got the left, Pam's got two tubes, the left tube and the canister at the bottom of the tube is gas, and then the right tube is the oil, oil tank. And I wanted something completely different is why we came up with that, and and it actually rides really good. And my daughter rode it around in surges this year. You know, when it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just the whole 60s and 70s vibe. And when I'm doing a, when I'm doing a bike or designing a bike or we're building a bike, I just I kind of get lost in it, you know, and I've just, ideas are easy for me. I've got thousands and thousands of ideas of things that that uh, you know that I want to do and all that. So it's uh, you know Pam was a was a special bike, and she runs as good as she looks. S and S actually, uh, when they had their fiftieth, which was uh, when was it, Dave? Two thousand eight. Wasn't that their fiftieth? Yeah, I was going to say it's been a lot longer than than you might remember. <laughs> it, was, it was a while ago. <laughs> so they they S and S invited 50 builders to build 50 bikes for their 50th anniversary and bring them home to La Crosse, Wisconsin. So they asked me to be one of the builders and they assigned me a twin cam motor, which I'm not really a twin cam kind of guy. I'm more of a pan head, knucklehead, shovel head, but, but it was cool. And, and uh, so that was the bike that we built around it. But one of the things it, out of all the events I've ever been to, that event for their 50th was the classiest event I had ever been to. Awesome. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it was, they had the red carpet laid out, so we got all 50 of these bikes in a room. And uh, they had the red carpet laid out, and so they're inviting, you know, they're calling the builder's name, and you walk down the red carpet and just waved, and, and so they called, uh, in no specific order, and when they called, uh, Two guys in a row, and uh, the MC was uh, was uh, Chris McGee. Y'all know Chris McGee. Dave does. Yep. Chris McGee said, "Okay, that's two uh, that's two foreigners in a row." He said, "But this next guy, you get no more American than this next guy from Dallas, Texas." And uh, Rick <laughs> Harris, and they said, "You know, in in this room, you can pick out his bike from anywhere in the room. You can see which." And that was uh, well, you know, that's one of those um, anywhere you go, That's we call that a five-second rule bike. That's yeah. five seconds after you pull up, someone's going to go, damn, tell me about that motor. That's <laughs> unbelievable. You know, and, and that's what you're captivating, man. But that's what you – I think you're larger than life in every aspect. You got that five-second rule, man. And one more time, tell us what, why people need to come to Strokers and – the lifestyle of the Texas lifestyle of your place, how you welcome them, the experience they get, and what are they going to take home with them that separates it from the other places they've been to? Tie-dye. A lot, a lot of people that come to Strokers, uh, it'll be like, uh, uh, you know, their wife came to, to DFW to visit somebody until the husband came along. 
to visit Strokers or a lot of people come to Strokers as a destination. So, you know, people will say, they'll email me or, or Lena and say, uh, you know, we want to come check out Strokers on vacation, send us a list of hotels, and we do and all that. And I give them a tour. We're two and a half acres, so I give them a tour. And tons of people have emailed me and told me <clears throat> the highlight of our vacation was coming to Strokers, you know, because it's just, wow. like I said, it's a, it's a throwback to the 60s and the 70s. I've got dinosaurs on the roof. i got a 20-foot life-size giraffe that's tie-dyed. We bring in <laughs> live music on the weekends. We have uh, bikini girls selling beer. I got the Grateful Dead tour bus out there. I mean, it's just a very eclectic place where you see things that you're not going to see in any other motorcycle shop or any other bar in the country. Well, that's awesome, Rick. Um, how do people get in touch with you? We're almost out of time. Where Where do they need to go? Website, social media, your radio yep. show. You got it all. Tell them. Yeah, you can go to uh, uh, strokersdallas.com is the website. We're on all the social media under Rick Fairless. You can find my Facebook page or you can find uh, the Instagram and all that. And we do uh, we do a Facebook Live deal three times a week. So it's just, uh, uh, you know, we, we're, we're everywhere out there. I'm easy to find. If you just type in my name, you want to see what I do, type in Rick Fairless in Google and hit images, and you'll see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of pictures from, from me all over the country. Well, we can't thank you enough, Rick. Uh, you're one of the good guys, man. Family, your mom, family, the whole nine yards, you and your daughter. Thank you so much for being a part of Born to Ride. Hey, thanks for having me on that. Dave Nichols is, is the best, and you guys are yeah. awesome. uh, any, Anything we can do to support you all, I appreciate it. Man, thank well, you. Let's thank do you, a lot, Rick. Dave. Thank you, Rick. Always all great, right, Dave thank Nichols. You. Thank you, Captain. Road trip oh, to better, Dallas. Everybody. Here we go. Road okay. trip. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, thanks for uh, joining Born to Ride Radio on Boss Hog Radio Network this Thursday evening. Have a great evening. Be safe out there. Are you down with the nation? Tiny Trailer Nation, the biggest secret in travel and adventure. Take your motorcycle anywhere. Live in comfort on the spot. Say goodbye to hotel cost. Campers, toy haulers, theme trailers built for any budget. One bike or two includes electric, water hookups, microwave, refrigerator, sink, tie downs, and more. Your trailer or ours, new or used. Your dream is here at a working man's price. Tiny Trailer Nation, biker, musician owned. A name you can trust. Check out the all-new BornToRide.com with radio, TV, industry, adventure, events, magazine, social media, and much more. It's the all-new BornToRide.com. Boys, what do you think? Norm, 8.5? 8.5, Norm. What? 
Only the, the missus gets a 10. What's with you? You're out of your mind. Was that a bad oh, score? Come on. It's okay, Debbie. Just throw the high and the low out. Come on, Norm. All right, boys. Okay. I'm going to go change into something else. Thanks a lot, Norm. That's cool. It's not that bad a score. 8.5, Norm. Come on. Norm. Your sister's Canadian. That chick's a 10. What the hell's wrong? It's not that bad. Norm. 8.5. What do you got? 10, 10, 10, 10. Yeah. 10, 10, 10. 10, 10. 8 points. What the f are you guys doing? Uh, well, Rick, uh, we were helping Debbie out with, uh, you know, her bikini thing, you know. She Did you forget for about help. the easy rider guy supposed to be on his way out here? Yeah. Well, All yeah. of you guys, I'm going to put you on the unemployment line and you're going to have a bunch of your buddies with you. We were cleaning. We got half the shop clean. You right? guys are going to give me a goddamn heart attack if you don't quit this. One day I said one day and you said okay. You can't even give me one freaking day. Well, you guys are all weak and worthless, every one of you. You're driving me crazy. Like what would you give her? Hold on. Eleven. Hey, thanks, boss. Now get back to work, all of you freaking guys. And I better not catch you doing this shit again. Oh, hey. How, hey, how you doing? Are you? I'm looking for Rick. That's me, Rick Fairless. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. We've been waiting for you. I want to show you around if you got a little time. Really? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you've got time. I got all day for you, sir. Very good. Come on, I'll show you around. You'll like the... Is your business becoming invisible? Create a great advertising relationship today with Born to Ride. Call 888-795-5779.